Okay, stop black people right now and watch this video because I'm talking to you about mental health issues and how we as a community do not get help when we need it. We look down on therapy. We look down on talking to someone. We got to stop it. I'm going to tell you about my recent therapy experience because I have avoided therapy for years, but now I'm doing it. Come in. Don't be afraid. Come on, let's talk about it. such a stigma on getting help on mental health in our community. That's why I'm speaking directly to the black community. Now I know that all races have problems with mental health, but black people refuse many of us to go and see someone about it. We will walk around forever in pain, hurting with all kinds of mental health issues. And we will not go talk about it as a black woman. Myself, I have done this. I have walked around for years. I have anxiety and I have OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. And I have had moments where I was so, so, so very, very bad off. And I still wouldn't go talk to somebody about my issues. Well, now I'm in therapy. And I'm going to tell you it's not easy, but it's something you have to do to be well and to really take care of yourself. So why am I talking directly to the black community? Well, let me show you some numbers. So data from SAMHSA indicates that over 65% of African American young adults ages 18 to 25 with serious mental illness did not receive help in 2019. The same for 41% of adults in this group ages 26 through 49. So why don't we get help? Why? Well, Basically, there is a crisis within the mental health system and the health system here in America anyway, right? So that makes us scared to even try to get help. And then there's the stigma amongst Black people from, I guess, growing up in Black churches and maybe growing up in families that made fun of people who were mentally ill or not mentally well, that we have the stigma on us that we feel like if we come out and just get help, that we're gonna be looked at in a certain way. A lot of us, friends and family that I know are walking around with trauma and we are so messed up and we're just walking around like being mothers and fathers and passing this down to generations. And we are not taking responsibility for ourselves when we do this people. So this is why I'm gonna tell you why we should be getting help, okay? Hey, how about for the overall wellness of yourself, right? You wanna be well, don't you? So seeking a therapist can help you overall just become better at being able to handle the things that have happened to you. And how about better relationships, okay? Not just romantic relationships, but also friendships and relationships with your family. So a lot of us are taking our baggage into relationships with people. We're taking things that happened to us in the past, horrible situations, horrible trauma, and we're moving it all into relationships with other people. And we're expecting them to listen to it and be our personal therapist. And I know for a fact that many of you are out here doing this. You've got your husbands or your boyfriends or your wives, and they are probably so tired of being a therapist and not saying that they shouldn't be listening but at some point when there's years and years of trauma that you have not unpacked, what do you think that's doing for your relationship? I mean, it definitely isn't making them better. I know for me, I've taken trauma into relationships and it's affected the way that I love people. It's affected the way that I receive love. And at some point you have to take responsibility for your trauma. You have to take responsibility for healing yourself. You cannot expect friends, family, and, and all other people to be a personal therapist for you. So this is why I say you need to go 
talk to someone so you can save your relationships. Do not keep going into relationships with people expecting them to save you. They're not your savior. And that's not to say that that person can't be there for you, but don't expect them to be a crutch for you to heal trauma. You need to go talk to someone and start trying to work on that for yourself. How about not passing it down to generations? I mean, if you have offspring, don't you want them to go on and flourish? So how about when you are not mentally well? What do you think that does to the generations to come that you're passing along values and things to? You should be teaching them also to go and talk to someone or to handle mental health issues properly. It starts all the way years ago and nobody gets help. And then we just keep moving along years and years and years. And, and before you know it, everybody's just messed up and nobody will just go and get help. It really makes me sad. It really does. So when you do get help, you can encourage other people in the black community that it's okay. And then you kind of become like a spokesperson or a beacon of light for those of us who need it. That's another reason to get help so that you get well enough so that you can bring somebody else along. That is so empowering and inspiring, I think. And that is what I'm trying to do, trying to be transparent as much as possible so that you all can see that you don't have to walk around hiding if you don't feel well. Don't you want a better quality of life? Do you just want to walk around every day in that same mindset of being traumatized from the past and the present? Just go talk to someone. And that's not to say it's easy, people. It's not. I'm doing it and it's hard work unpacking the baggage. It is very, very, very difficult. But I believe you eventually get to a place of healing and you start to heal those places that are so broken and so traumatized. And then you start to become more empowered in your life and starting to feel better and starting to feel like you can let go of all of that extra stuff that holds you down, holds your relationships down, holds you from going forward and moving forward with a great quality of life. So you have to kind of go through an interview process with therapists. It's not just going in and seeing someone. You need to go in knowing that you're going to interview people to see who is the best fit for you when you're looking for a therapist. So the Black Mental Health Alliance has a site that is specifically full of Black therapists. So if you really want to see someone, if you want resources, if you want to find good books about this, you should go look on their website. There's so many other sites you can look on. If you don't want to check there, you can go on Psychology Today. That is also another website where you can find psychologists, therapists, whatever you do, just help yourself. Because it makes me so, so sad when I see my friends and my family and I see myself. I know like we could be so much better if we would just attend to our mental wellness. Please do that, Black community. Please like, subscribe, come back. I appreciate all of the support and I will see you next time. Get help, people. Bye-bye.